Hey guys, Kid Guru here for the Tech World. And today I got another software I want to show you guys that's really helpful and can come in uh, handy. Reason being, uh, recently, if you guys follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash kidguru, um, it may, some of you may know that uh, recently, when I uh, one morning when I woke up uh, and I was rebooting my, I had to reboot my PC for I believe it was an update or something, but I had an iPod plugged in and for some weird reason, uh, well, obviously, uh, it detected the iPod as a USB device, and it was trying to boot off of that, so I had to, like, you know, uh, unplug the iPod and reboot. But then Windows 7 occurred with this error, and I had to do a system restore. And, like, some weird error happened, and when I got my, when I restored back to a previous date, all my EXE files were missing, like, all my programs. So I didn't want to reformat the computer. All I had to really do was reinstall all my software, which is a pain. And I remember this software, which can come in really handy, and this can be useful either either if you're reinst reinstalling an operating system, installing a new one, or you just need something that's really handy to install your software. And it's called the Smart Installer Pack. That's SIP. You can go to smartinstallerpack.com to install this. Uh, I'll show some of the features here. It's, all the programs are free, which is one awesome, awesome uh, you know plus to this program. And uh, really, really nice design. And I already downloaded the application here, so you can download it. And here's just some of the applications it includes: Yahoo Messenger, Rocket Doc, FileZilla, the FTP and FT uh, server client, and uh, the server and regular FTP client. Audacity it includes a major, uh, major variety of browsers from Opera to Google Chrome to Firefox. Some IM clients like Pigeons and Digsby. Earth and View and all these other ones. I, I mean, I, I can't go through all of them all. And it even has security programs. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I already downloaded it, but I'm gonna run the installer because I haven't installed it yet. So I'm gonna show you the process here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run it. And as you see here, it says loading SIP. Please wait. Now, again, this is really, really useful just to get all your software bundled rather than, you know, imagine you going to all these different sites to install the software. Now, this won't actually install all of the software. This is just going to give you an easy selection menu to install the software you need to, uh, you know, get. So, I'm just going to wait for this to open. And it's loading. And, oh, wow, it's a full screen installer. I haven't seen this in a while, sorry. <laughs> um, so, it says it just gives you the things right here. You can create an account if you need to so this will it says that you can get informed about the new versions as soon as they come out so if you want to do that you can but I'm just gonna go ahead and go install here so this is a full screen I didn't think that's weird alright so see here there's an advertising this ad um, and there's you can okay see they're showing all this crazy stuff here so they got a couple ads here but the main thing you want to be focused on is all this right here so you can select all so if you want to download all these applications they have really cool ones like, like Skype uh, Gmail notifier. So if you want to get your Gmail, uh, you know, uh, just like kind of like a Thunderbird client, but specifically for Gmail, you can get Firefox, uTorrent, uh, and then so you want to, you know, select what you want. I'm not going to install any software right now because I don't need any to at the moment. But if you select it, you're just going to, after you clicked all the software or checked it all, you just hit Start Selected. But as you see here, there's nine pages, or probably even more than nine. Look, it has 7-Zip, Adobe Flash Player, Fox Reader for your PDFs. And again, all these applications are free. None of these cost anything. Uh, it goes a little bit into video, KM Player, VLC, Media Player, Notepad++. Really, really cool stuff, guys. So I'm just going to jump kind of around. Uh, so see here, 9 is just credits, 8 is instructions. So if you want to know how to use it, I guess, you can always go there. Or you can just, you know, obviously, you're watching the tutorial, <laughs> tutorial already. You can get Rocket Doc, Take a Break. I see some of these I don't even know, but they're packing really, really cool. If you're a huge fan of freeware and you want it all bundled and really want a great tool, and, you know, this can just be a great tool even even if you're not really in just installing or reinstalling an operating system. Just any time you need an application, instead of going to the site, you already know it's packed into the software. So go ahead and use this as your installer. Uh, really, really cool applications. Uh, if you're used to like something like Ubuntu, you know Ubuntu kind of has that add remove uh, thing where you can go into the Synaptic Package Manager and look at all the software that's kind of available. This is kind of uh, really uh, that's what I really liked about Ubuntu, and this is just something on Windows that you can check out. Again, this is called the Smart Installer Pack. Check it out, guys. Really, really useful in various situations, and again, it's filled with bundles and bundles of software. So you see here, these are the Security Suite and some IM clients. Uh, CD Burner, Evernote, and again, it has multiple varieties of certain apps like Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, etc. So guys, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, and if you want to exit, you can minimize it here. You can just click this power button, and it'll exit. 
and there you go. So again, smartinstallerpack.com. Uh, great solution for installing your software, guys. Check it out. This has been Kid Guru for the Tech World. Check out the website, adrianstech.com. Got any questions, concerns, uh, requests, or feedback, email me at adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.